Happy Monday morning, guys. It's mine and Coco's favorite day, back to work. So I'm on, I always talk fast, so you guys gotta listen fast today. This is gonna be a quick one. I don't even have time to go get coffee, which is fine, because I don't need any coffee. I already had two cups, but that's just between us. Uh, because I gotta get to the office. So I've been realizing that I'm in love, as I told y'all, with this new morning routine. I couldn't recommend it more. I've always been the girl looking at those things going, what time are they getting up? I'm not doing that, no, no. Once you build some things into your morning routine that you want to do, you're going to you're going to do them and you're going to get up hey kelly how are you and you're going to do these things so here's what the deal is you know i've got my spreadsheet where i track how many calories i had yesterday or the the day of did i have i exercised have i had my 64 ounces of water um everything that you want to track on there our bible reading that wes and i do uh, all these things take time in the mornings and i still want some time to maybe flip on bbc for 10 minutes 15 minutes find out anything major going on in the world and a little bit of downtime as well. Well, boy, these mornings are getting away from me. So you guys know that last Thursday and Friday, uh, if you've been watching, I went to a scribe workshop. This is a guided author workshop where they help you write your own outline, um, do all of your own writing, your own work, but they keep you on an accountability schedule. So I am on a schedule now which says every morning I have to write for one hour. So that 6.30 time had already become six so that I could accommodate my Peloton workout, which is going awesome. Then, so today I said, man, I'm gonna have to do 5.30 so that I can be done with exercise around six, 6.15. Then Wes and I have in our Bible time, 6.30. I ended up with at most 15 minutes to relax before it was time to do the one hour of riding. Then I got one hour to get in the shower, get ready, get dressed, get there and start our meeting. And it is, what time does it say? 8.52, 8.54, so five or six minutes before the meeting. So guess what? I am here to tell you the scary news that tomorrow morning it's going to be 5 a.m. And the weird thing is, I'm not even dreading it because I have built things into my morning routine that I enjoy. I look forward now to my cup of coffee, my Bible time with Wes, um, checking social media, talking to some of you guys, and I don't want to skimp on any of that time. And as I keep saying, five o'clock feels, it's not bad, right? Five o'clock feels just like six, just like 6.30. You, either way, when you first hear the alarm, you really don't want to get up. You stand up, you get moving, and don't look back. And no matter what, you just build backwards the amount of time you need. So I'll let you guys know how it goes tomorrow because Coco is always ready for us to get up, being the nocturnal baby that she is. She's me. I get up at five. He's up at four. So uh, tomorrow morning is going to be five o'clock. I'll let you know how it goes. Hope y'all have a wonderful Monday and a wonderful week. Bye.